A robot is a mechanical or virtual artificial agent, usually an electromechanical machine that is guided by a computer program or electronic circuitry. Robots can be autonomous or semi-autonomous and range from humanoids such as Honda's Advanced Step and Innovative Mobility and TOSY's TOSY Ping Pong Playing Robot to industrial robots, collectively programmed swarm robots, and even microscopic nanorobots. By mimicking a lifelike appearance or automating movements, a robot may convey a sense of intelligence or thought of its own. The branch of technology that deals with the design, construction, operation, and application of robots, as well as computer systems for their control, sensory feedback, and information processing as robotics. These technologies deal with automated machines that can take the place of humans in dangerous environments or manufacturing processes, or resemble humans in appearance, behavior, and or cognition. Many of today's robots are inspired by nature contributing to the field of bio-inspired robotics. These robots have also created a newer branch of robotics, soft robotics. From the time of ancient civilization there have been many accounts of user-configurable automated devices and even automata resembling animals and humans, designed primarily as entertainment. As mechanical techniques developed through the industrial age, there appeared more practical applications such as automated machines, remote control and wireless remote control. Electronics evolved into the driving force of development with the advent of the first electronic autonomous robots created by William Gray Walter in Bristol, England in 1948. The first digital and programmable robot was invented by George Devil in 1954 and was named the Unimate. It was sold to General Motors in 1961 where it was used to lift pieces of hot metal from die casting machines at the Inland Fisher Guide plant in the West Trenton section of Ewing Township. New Jersey. Robots have replaced humans in the assistance of performing those repetitive and dangerous tasks which humans prefer not to do, or are unable to do due to size limitations, or even those such as in outer space or at the bottom of the sea where humans could not survive the extreme environments. There are concerns about the increasing use of robots and their role in society. Robots are blamed for rising unemployment as they replace workers in increasing numbers of functions. The use of robots in military combat raises ethical concerns. The possibilities of robot autonomy and potential repercussions have been addressed in fiction and may be a realistic concern in the future. Summary The word robot can refer to both physical robots and virtual software agents, but the latter are usually referred to as bots. There is no consensus on which machines qualify as robots but there is general agreement among experts, and the public that robots tend to do some or all of the following, move around, operate a mechanical limb, sense and manipulate their environment, and exhibit intelligent behavior a euro especially behavior which mimics humans or other animals. In practical terms, robot usually refers to a machine which can be electronically programmed to carry out a variety of physical tasks or actions. There is no one definition of robot that satisfies everyone and many people have their own. For example Josephine Gelberger, a pioneer in industrial robotics, once remarked, I can't define a robot, but I know one when I see one. The two ways that robots differ from actual beings are, simply stated, in the domain of cognition, and in the domain of biological form. The general consensus is that a robot is a machine and not a being simply because it is not intelligent, regardless of how human-like it may appear. In contrast, an imaginary machine, or artificial life form that could think near or above human intelligence, and had a sensory body, would no longer be a robot, but would be some kind of artificial being, or cognitive robot. According to the Encyclopedia Britannica a robot is any automatically operated machine that replaces human effort, though it may not resemble human beings in appearance or perform functions in a human-like manner. Merriam-Webster describes a robot as a machine that looks like a human being and performs various complex acts of a human being, or a device that automatically performs complicated often repetitive tasks, or a mechanism guided by automatic controls. History The idea of automata originates in the mythologies of many cultures around the world. Engineers and inventors from ancient civilizations, including ancient China, ancient Greece, 
and Ptolemaic Egypt, attempted to build self-operating machines, some resembling animals and humans. Early descriptions of automata include the artificial doves of Architas, the artificial birds of Mazi and Luban, a speaking automaton by Hero of Alexandria, a washstand automaton by Philo of Byzantium, and a human automaton described in Elysi. Early beginnings, many ancient mythologies, and most modern religions include artificial people, such as the mechanical servants built by the Greek god Hephaestus, the clay golems of Jewish legend and clay giants of Norse legend, and Galatia, the mythical statue of Pygmalion that came to life. Since circa 400 BC, myths of Crete include Talos, a man of bronze who guarded the Cretan island of Europa from pirates. In ancient Greece, the Greek engineer Ctesippo supplied a knowledge of pneumatics and hydraulics to produce the first organ and water clocks with moving figures. In the 4th century BC, the Greek mathematician Architas of Tarentum postulated a mechanical steam-operated bird he called a pigeon. Hero of Alexandria, a Greek mathematician and inventor, created numerous user-configurable automated devices, and described machines powered by air pressure, steam and water. The 11th century Lokapanati tells of how the Buddha's relics were protected by mechanical robots, from the kingdom of Roma Visoa, until they were disarmed by King Ashoka. In ancient China, the 3rd century text of the Lizai describes an account of humanoid automata, involving a much earlier encounter between Chinese Emperor King Mu of Zhou and a mechanical engineer known as Yan Qi, an artificer. Yan Qi proudly presented the king with a life-size, human-shaped figure of his mechanical handiwork made of leather, wood, and artificial organs. There are also accounts of flying automata in the Han for Izai and other texts, which attributes the 5th century BC Muist philosopher Mazi and his contemporary Lu Ban with the invention of artificial wooden birds that could successfully fly. In 1066, the Chinese inventor Su Song built a water clock in the form of a tower which featured mechanical figurines which chimed the hours. The beginning of automata is associated with the invention of early Su Song's astronomical clock tower featured mechanical figurines that chimed the hours. His mechanism had a programmable drum machine with pegs that bumped into little levers that operated percussion instruments. The drummer could be made to play different rhythms and different drum patterns by moving the pegs to different locations. In Renaissance Italy, Leonardo da Vinci sketched plans for a humanoid robot around 1495. Da Vinci's notebooks, rediscovered in the 1950s, contained detailed drawings of a mechanical knight now known as Leonardo's robot, able to sit up, wave its arms and move its head and jaw. The design was probably based on anatomical research recorded in his Vitruvian Man. It is not known whether he attempted to build it. In Japan, complex animal and human automata were built between the 17th to 19th centuries, with many described in the 18th century Karakaraizui. One such automaton was the Karakarai Ninja, a mechanized puppet. Different variations of the Karakarai existed, the Butai Karakarai, which were used in theater, the Zashiki Karakarai, which were small and used in homes, and the Dashi Karakarai which were used in religious festivals, where the puppets were used to perform reenactments of traditional myths and legends. In France, between 1738 and 1739, Jacques de Vaucanson exhibited several life-sized automatons, a flute player, a pipe player and a duck. The mechanical duck could flap its wings, crane its neck, and swallow food from the exhibitor's hand, and it gave the illusion of digesting its food by excreting matter stored in a hidden compartment. Remote controlled systems. Remotely operated vehicles were demonstrated in the late 19th century in the form of several types of remotely controlled torpedoes. The early 1870s saw remotely controlled torpedoes by John Erickson, John Louis Lay, and Victor von Skeliha. The Brennan torpedo, invented by Louis Brennan in 1877 was powered by two contra-rotating propellers that were spun by rapidly pulling out wires from drums wound inside the torpedo. Differential speed on the wires connected to the shore station allowed the torpedo to be guided to its target, making it the world's first practical guided missile. 
In 1897 the British inventor Ernest Wilson was granted a patent for a torpedo remotely controlled by Hertz and Waves and in 1898 Nikola Tesla publicly demonstrated a wireless controlled torpedo that he hoped to sell to the U.S. Navy. Archibald Lowe, known as the father of radio guidance systems for his pioneering work on guided rockets and planes during the First World War. In 1917, he demonstrated a remote-controlled aircraft to the Royal Flying Corps and in the same year built the first wire-guided rocket. Humanoid robots, the term robot was first used to denote fictional automata in a 1921 play of U.R. Rossum's Universal Robots by the Czech writer, Karol Iapek. In 1928, one of the first humanoid robots was exhibited at the annual exhibition of the Model Engineers Society in London. Invented by W. H. Richards, the robot Eric's frame consisted of an aluminium body of armor with 11 electromagnets and one motor powered by a 12-volt power source. The robot could move its hands and head and could be controlled through remote control or voice control. Westinghouse Electric Corporation built Telebox in 1926. It was a cardboard cutout connected to various devices which users could turn on and off. In 1939, the humanoid robot known as Electro was debuted at the World's Fair. Seven feet tall and weighing 265 pounds, it could walk by voice command, speak about 700 words, smoke cigarettes, blow up balloons, and move its head and arms. The body consisted of a steel gear, cam and motor skeleton covered by an aluminum skin. In 1928, Japan's first robot, Gaki Tensoku was designed and constructed by biologist Makoto Nishimura. Modern Autonomous Robots The first electronic autonomous robots with complex behavior were created by William Gray Walter of the Burden Neurological Institute at Bristol, England in 1948 and 1949. He wanted to prove that rich connections between a small number of brain cells could give rise to very complex behaviors, essentially that the secret of how the brain worked lay in how it was wired up. His first robots, named Elmer and Elsie, were constructed between 1948 and 1949 and were often described as tortoises due to their shape and slow rate of movement. The three-wheel tortoise robots were capable of phototaxis, by which they could find their way to a recharging station when they ran low on battery power. Walter stressed the importance of using purely analog electronics to simulate brain processes at a time when his contemporaries such as Alan Turing and John von Neumann were all turning towards a view of mental processes in terms of digital computation. His work inspired subsequent generations of robotics researchers such as Rodney Brooks, Hans Moravec and Mark Tilden. Modern incarnations of Walter's turtles may be found in the form of beam robotics. The first digitally operated and programmable robot was invented by George Devil in 1954 and was ultimately called the Unimate. This ultimately laid the foundations of the modern robotics industry. Devil sold the first Unimate to General Motors in 1960, and it was installed in 1961 in a plant in Trenton, New Jersey to lift hot pieces of metal from a die casting machine and stack them. Devola Euro unregistered trademark S patent for the first digitally operated programmable robotic arm represents the foundation of the modern robotics industry. The first palletizing robot was introduced in 1963 by the Fuji Yuzoki Kogyo Company. In 1973, a robot with six electromechanically driven axes was patented by KUKA Robotics in Germany and the programmable universal manipulation arm was invented by Victor Skamen in 1976, and the design was sold to animation. Commercial and industrial robots are now in widespread use performing jobs more cheaply or with greater accuracy and reliability than humans. They are also employed for jobs which are too dirty, dangerous or dull to be suitable for humans. Robots are widely used in manufacturing, assembly and packing, transport. Earth and space exploration, surgery, weaponry, laboratory research, and mass production of consumer and industrial goods. Etymology The word robot was introduced to the public by the Czech interwar writer Karol Iapek and his play UR, published in 1920. The play begins in a factory that uses a chemical substitute for protoplasm to manufacture living, simplified people called robots. 
the play does not focus in detail on the technology behind the creation of these living creatures, but in their appearance they prefigure modern ideas of androids, creatures who can be mistaken for humans. These mass-produced workers are depicted as efficient but emotionless, incapable of original thinking and indifferent to self-preservation. At issue is whether the robots are being exploited and the consequences of human dependence upon commodified labor. Karol Ariapek himself did not coin the word. He wrote a short letter in reference to an etymology in the Oxford English Dictionary in which he named his brother, the painter and writer Joseph Ariapek, as its actual originator. In an article in the Czech journal Lid of a Copyright Novini in 1933, he explained that he had originally wanted to call the creatures Laboa and register trademark I. However, he did not like the word, and sought advice from his brother Joseph, who suggested Roboti. The word Robota means literally call the copyright E, surf labor, and figuratively drudgery, or hard work in Czech and also work, labor in many Slavic languages. Traditionally the Robota was the work period a serf had to give for his lord, typically six months of the year. The origin of the word is the old church Slavonic robota servitude, which in turn comes from the Proto-Indo-European root ORBH. Robot is cognate with the German root Arbit. The word robotics, used to describe this field of study, was coined by the science fiction writer Isaac Asimov. Asimov created the three laws of robotics, which are a recurring theme in his books. These have since been used by many others to define laws used in fact and fiction. Modern robots. Mobile robot. Mobile robots have the capability to move around in their environment and are not fixed to one physical location. An example of a mobile robot that is in common use today is the automated guided vehicle or automatic guided vehicle. An AGV is a mobile robot that follows markers or wires in the floor, or uses vision or lasers. AGVs are discussed later in this article. Mobile robots are also found in industry, military and security environments. They also appear as consumer products, for entertainment or to perform certain tasks like vacuum cleaning. Mobile robots are the focus of a great deal of current research and almost every major university has one or more labs that focus on mobile robot research. Mobile robots are usually used in tightly controlled environments such as on assembly lines because they have difficulty responding to unexpected interference. Because of this most humans rarely encounter robots. However domestic robots for cleaning and maintenance are increasingly common in and around homes in developed countries. Robots can also be found in military applications. Industrial robots. Industrial robots usually consist of a jointed arm and an end effector that is attached to a fixed surface. One of the most common type of end effector is a gripper assembly. The International Organization for Standardization gives a definition of a manipulating industrial robot in ISO 8373, an automatically controlled, reprogrammable, multipurpose, manipulator programmable in three or more axes which may be either fixed in place or mobile for use in industrial automation applications. This definition is used by the International Federation of Robotics, the European Robotics Research Network and many national standards committees. Service Robot Most commonly industrial robots are fixed robotic arms and manipulators used primarily for production and distribution of goods. The term service robot is less well defined. The International Federation of Robotics has proposed a tentative definition, a service robot is a robot which operates semi or fully autonomously to perform services useful to the well-being of humans and equipment, excluding manufacturing operations. Educational robot, robots are used as educational assistants to teachers. From the 1980s, robots such as turtles were used in schools and programmed using the logo language. There are robot kits like Lego Mindstorms, Bioloid, OLLO from Robotis, or Bot Brain Educational Robots can help children to learn about mathematics, physics, programming, and electronics. Robotics have also been introduced in the lives of elementary and high school students in the form of robot competitions with the company first. The organization is the foundation for the first robotics competition, first Lego League, junior first Lego League and first tech challenge competitions. 
There have also been devices shaped like robots such as the Teaching Computer, Leechum, and 2XL, a robot-shaped game-slash-teaching toy based on an 8-track tape player, both invented Michael J. Freeman. Modular Robot Modular robots are a new breed of robots that are designed to increase the utilization of robots by modularizing their architecture. The functionality and effectiveness of a modular robot is easier to increase compared to conventional robots. These robots are composed of a single type of identical, several different identical module types, or similarly shaped modules, which vary in size. Their architectural structure allows hyper-redundancy for modular robots, as they can be designed with more than 8 degrees of freedom. Creating the programming, inverse kinematics and dynamics for modular robots is more complex than with traditional robots. Modular robots may be composed of L-shaped modules cubic modules, and U and H shaped modules. ANAT Technology, an early modular robotic technology patented by Robotics Design Incorporated, allows the creation of the modular robots from U and H shaped modules that connect in a chain, and are used to form heterogeneous and homogeneous modular robot systems. These are Euro OE and that robots a Euro can be designed with a Euro in a Euro DOF as each module is a complete motorized robotic system that folds relatively to the modules connected before and after it in its chain, and therefore a single module allows one degree of freedom. The more modules that are connected to one another, the more degrees of freedom it will have. L-shaped modules can also be designed in a chain, and must become increasingly smaller as the size of the chain increases as payloads attached to the end of the chain place a greater strain on modules that are further from the base. ANATH-shaped modules do not suffer from this problem, as their design allows a modular robot to distribute pressure and impact evenly amongst other attached modules, and therefore payload carrying capacity does not decrease as the length of the arm increases. Modular robots can be manually or self-reconfigured to form a different robot, that may perform different applications. Because modular robots of the same architecture type are composed of modules that compose different modular robots, a snake arm robot can combine with another to form a dual or quadra arm robot, or can split into several mobile robots, and mobile robots can split into multiple smaller ones, or combine with others into a larger or different one. This allows a single modular robot the ability to be fully specialized in a single task as well as the capacity to be specialized to perform multiple different tasks. Modular robotic technology is currently being applied in hybrid transportation, industrial automation, duct cleaning and handling. Many research centers and universities have also studied this technology, and have developed prototypes. Collaborative Robots A collaborative robot or cabot is a robot that can safely and effectively interact with human workers while performing simple industrial tasks. However, end effectors and other environmental conditions may create hazards, and as such risk assessments should be done before using any industrial motion control application. The collaborative robots most widely used in industries today are manufactured by Universal Robots in Denmark. Rethink Robotics a Euro founded by Rodney Brooks, previously with iRobot a Euro introduced Baxter in September 2012. As an industrial robot designed to safely interact with neighboring human workers, and be programmable for performing simple tasks. Baxter stop if they detect a human in the way of their robotic arms and have prominent off switches. Intended for sale to small businesses, they are promoted as the robotic analog of the personal computer. As of May 2014, 190 companies in the US have bought Baxters and they are being used commercially in the UK. Robots in Society Roughly half of all the robots in the world are in Asia, 32% in Europe, and 16% in North America, 1% in Australasia and 1% in Africa. 40% of all the robots in the world are in Japan, making Japan the country with the highest number of robots. Autonomy and Ethical Questions As robots have become more advanced and sophisticated, experts and academics have increasingly explored the questions of what ethics might govern robots' behavior, and whether robots might be able to claim any kind of social, cultural, ethical or legal rights. One scientific team has said that it is possible that a robot brain will exist by 2019. 
others predict robot intelligence breakthroughs by 2050. Recent advances have made robotic behavior more sophisticated. The social impact of intelligent robots is subject of a 2010 documentary film called Plug and Pray. Verna Vinge has suggested that a moment may come when computers and robots are smarter than humans. He calls this the singularity. He suggests that it may be somewhat or possibly very dangerous for humans. This is discussed by a philosophy called singularitarianism. In 2009, experts attended a conference hosted by the Association for the Advancement of Artificial Intelligence to discuss whether computers and robots might be able to acquire any autonomy, and how much these abilities might pose a threat or hazard. They noted that some robots have acquired various forms of semi-autonomy, including being able to find power sources on their own and being able to independently choose targets to attack with weapons. They also noted that some computer viruses can evade elimination and have achieved cockroach intelligence. They noted that self-awareness as depicted in science fiction is probably unlikely, but that there were other potential hazards and pitfalls. Various media sources and scientific groups have noted separate trends in differing areas which might together result in greater robotic functionalities and autonomy, and which pose some inherent concerns. Military robots Some experts and academics have questioned the use of robots for military combat, especially when such robots are given some degree of autonomous functions. There are also concerns about technology which might allow some armed robots to be controlled mainly by other robots. The U.S. Navy has funded a report which indicates that, as military robots become more complex, there should be greater attention to implications of their ability to make autonomous decisions. One researcher states that autonomous robots might be more humane, as they could make decisions more effectively. However, other experts question this. One robot in particular, the EATR, has generated public concerns over its fuel source, as it can continually refuel itself using organic substances. Although the engine for the EATR is designed to run on biomass and vegetation specifically selected by its sensors, which it can find on battlefields or other local environments, the project has stated that chicken fat can also be used. Manuel de Landa has noted that smart missiles, and autonomous bombs equipped with artificial perception can be considered robots, as they make some of their decisions autonomously. He believes this represents an important and dangerous trend in which humans are handing over important decisions to machines. Relationship to unemployment A recent example of human replacement involves Taiwanese technology company Fuak Skun who, in July 2011, announced a three-year plan to replace workers with more robots. At present the company uses 10,000 robots but will increase them to a million robots over a three-year period. Service robots of different varieties including medical robots, underwater robots, surveillance robots, demolition robots and other types of robots that carry out a multitude of jobs are gaining in numbers. Service robots are everyday tools for mankind. They can clean floors, mow lawns and guard homes and will also assist old and handicapped people do some surgeries, inspect pipes and sites that are hazardous to people, fight fires and defuse bombs. Contemporary uses At present, there are two main types of robots, based on their use, general-purpose autonomous robots and dedicated robots. Robots can be classified by their specificity of purpose. A robot might be designed to perform one particular task extremely well, or a range of tasks less well. Of course, all robots by their nature can be reprogrammed to behave differently, but some are limited by their physical form. For example, a factory robot arm can perform jobs such as cutting, welding, gluing, or acting as a fairground ride, while a pick-and-place robot can only populate printed circuit boards. General Purpose Autonomous Robots General Purpose Autonomous Robots can perform a variety of functions independently. General purpose autonomous robots typically can navigate independently in known spaces, handle their own recharging needs, interface with electronic doors and elevators and perform other basic tasks. Like computers, general purpose robots can link with networks, software and accessories that increase their usefulness. They may recognize people or objects, talk, 
provide companionship, monitor environmental quality, respond to alarms, pick up supplies and perform other useful tasks. General purpose robots may perform a variety of functions simultaneously or they may take on different roles at different times of day. Some such robots try to mimic human beings and may even resemble people in appearance. This type of robot is called a humanoid robot. Humanoid robots are still in a very limited stage, as no humanoid robot can, as of yet, actually navigate around a room that it has never been in. Thus, humanoid robots are really quite limited, despite their intelligent behaviors in their well-known environments. Factory robots, car production, over the last three decades, automobile factories have become dominated by robots. A typical factory contains hundreds of industrial robots working on fully automated production lines, with one robot for every ten human workers. On an automated production line, a vehicle chassis on a conveyor is welded, glued, painted and finally assembled at a sequence of robot stations. Packaging Industrial robots are also used extensively for palletizing and packaging of manufactured goods. For example for rapidly taking drink cartons from the end of a conveyor belt and placing them into boxes, or for loading and unloading machining centers. Electronics, mass-produced printed circuit boards are almost exclusively manufactured by pick-and-place robots, typically with SCARA manipulators, which remove tiny electronic components from strips or trays, and place them onto PCBs with great accuracy. Such robots can place hundreds of thousands of components per hour, far outperforming a human in speed, accuracy, and reliability. Automated guided vehicles. Mobile robots, following markers or wires in the floor, or using vision or lasers, are used to transport goods around large facilities, such as warehouses, container ports, or hospitals. Early AGV-style robots limited to tasks that could be accurately defined and had to be performed the same way every time. Very little feedback or intelligence was required, and the robots needed only the most basic extra captors. The limitations of these AGVs are that their paths are not easily altered and they cannot alter their paths if obstacles block them. If one AGV breaks down, it may stop the entire operation. Interim AGV Technologies Developed to deploy triangulation from beacons or barcode grids for scanning on the floor or ceiling. In most factories, triangulation systems tend to require moderate to high maintenance, such as daily cleaning of all beacons or barcodes. Also, if a tall pallet or large vehicle blocks beacons or a barcode is marred, AGVs may become lost. Often such AGVs are designed to be used in human-free environments. Intelligent AGVs, such as Smart Loader, SPECI Minder, Adam, Tug Escorter, and MT400 with Motivity are designed for people-friendly workspaces. They navigate by recognizing natural features. 3D scanners or other means of sensing the environment in two or three dimensions help to eliminate cumulative errors in dead reckoning calculations of the AGV's current position. Some AGVs can create maps of their environment using scanning lasers with simultaneous localization and mapping and use those maps to navigate in real time with other path planning and obstacle avoidance algorithms. They are able to operate in complex environments and perform non-repetitive and non-sequential tasks such as transporting photomasks in a semiconductor lab, specimens in hospitals and goods in warehouses. For dynamic areas, such as warehouses full of pallets, AGVs require additional strategies using three-dimensional sensors such as time-of-flight or stereo vision cameras. Dirty, dangerous, dull or inaccessible tasks, there are many jobs which humans would rather leave to robots. The job may be boring, such as domestic cleaning, or dangerous, such as exploring inside a volcano. Other jobs are physically inaccessible, such as exploring another planet, cleaning the inside of a long pipe, or performing laparoscopic surgery. Space probes. Almost every unmanned space probe ever launched was a robot. Some were launched in the 1960s with very limited abilities, but their ability to fly and land is an indication of their status as a robot. This includes the Voyager probes and the Galileo probes, and others. Telerobots. 
Teleoperated robots, or telerobots, are devices remotely operated from a distance by a human operator rather than following a predetermined sequence of movements, but which are semi autonomous behavior. They are used when a human cannot be present on site to perform a job because it is dangerous, far away, or inaccessible. The robot may be in another room or another country, or may be on a very different scale to the operator. For instance, a laparoscopic surgery robot allows the surgeon to work inside a human patient on a relatively small scale compared to open surgery, significantly shortening recovery time. They can also be used to avoid exposing workers to the hazardous and tight spaces such as induct cleaning. When disabling a bomb, the operator sends a small robot to disable it. Several authors have been using a device called the Lumpen to sign books remotely. Teleoperated robot aircraft, like the Predator unmanned aerial vehicle, are increasingly being used by the military. These pilotless drones can search terrain and fire on targets. Hundreds of robots such as iRobots Packbot and the Foster Miller Talon are being used in Iraq and Afghanistan by the U.S. military to defuse roadside bombs or improvised explosive devices in an activity known as explosive ordnance disposal. Automated fruit harvesting machines used to pick fruit on orchards at a cost lower than that of human pickers. Domestic robots Domestic robots are simple robots dedicated to a single task work in home use. They are used in simple but unwanted jobs, such as vacuum cleaning and floor washing, and lawn mowing. Military robots Military robots include the swords robot which is currently used in ground-based combat. It can use a variety of weapons and there is some discussion of giving it some degree of autonomy in battleground situations. Unmanned combat air vehicles, which are an upgraded form of UAVs, can do a wide variety of missions, including combat. UCAVs are being designed such as the BAE Systems Mantis which would have the ability to fly themselves, to pick their own course and target, and to make most decisions on their own. The BAE Tyrannis is a UCAV built by Great Britain which can fly across continents without a pilot and has new means to avoid detection. Flight trials are expected to begin in 2011. The AAAI has studied this topic in depth and its president has commissioned a study to look at this issue. Some have suggested a need to build friendly AI, meaning that the advances which are already occurring with AI should also include an effort to make AI intrinsically friendly and humane. Several such measures reportedly already exist, with robot-heavy countries such as Japan and South Korea having begun to pass regulations requiring robots to be equipped with safety systems, and possibly sets of laws akin to Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics. An official report was issued in 2009 by the Japanese government's Robot Industry Policy Committee. Chinese officials and researchers have issued a report suggesting a set of ethical rules, and a set of new legal guidelines referred to as robot legal studies. Some concern has been expressed over a possible occurrence of robots telling apparent falsehoods. Mining robots Mining robots are designed to solve a number of problems currently facing the mining industry, including skills shortages, improving productivity from declining ore grades, and achieving environmental targets. Due to the hazardous nature of mining, in particular underground mining, the prevalence of autonomous, semi-autonomous, and teal-operated robots has greatly increased in recent times. A number of vehicle manufacturers provide autonomous trains, trucks and loaders that will load material, transport it on the mine site to its destination, and unload without requiring human intervention. One of the world's largest mining corporations, Rio Tinto, has recently expanded its autonomous vehicle fleet to the world's largest, consisting of 150 autonomous Komatsu trucks, operating in Western Australia. Drilling, long wall and rock breaking machines are now also available as autonomous robots. The Atlas Kofco rig control system can autonomously execute a drilling plan on a drilling rig, moving the rig into position using GPS, set up the drill rig and drill down to specified depths. Similarly, the Transmin Rock Logic system can automatically plan a path to position a rock breaker at a selected destination. These systems greatly enhance the safety and efficiency of mining operations. Robot kits, robotic kits like Lego Mindstorms, Bioloid, 
OLLO from Robert Is, or Bot Brain Educational Robots can help children to learn about mathematics, physics, programming, and electronics. Robot competitions, robotics have also been introduced in the lives of elementary and high school students with the company FIRST. The organization is the foundation for the first robotics competition, FIRST LEGO League, Junior FIRST LEGO League, and FIRST Tech Challenge competitions. Virtual Tutors, Virtual Tutors are some kind of embodied agent that helps children to do their homework, for example, on peer-to-peer -peer basis. Teacher Assistants Robots as a teacher assistant let children to be more assertive during the class and get more motivated. South Korea is the first country deploying a program to have a robot in each school. Healthcare Robots in healthcare have two main functions. Those which assist an individual, such as a sufferer of a disease like multiple sclerosis, and those which aid in the overall system such as pharmacies and hospitals. Home automation for the elderly and disabled. Robots have developed over time from simple basic robotic assistants, such as the Handy One, through to semi-autonomous robots, such as Friend which can assist the elderly and disabled with common tasks. The population is aging in many countries, especially Japan, meaning that there are increasing numbers of elderly people to care for, but relatively fewer young people to care for them. Humans make the best carers, but where they are unavailable, robots are gradually being introduced. Friend is a semi-autonomous robot designed to support disabled and elderly people in their daily life activities, like preparing and serving a meal. Friend make it possible for patients who are paraplegic, have muscle diseases or serious paralysis, to perform tasks without help from other people like therapists or nursing staff. Pharmacies Script Pro manufactures a robot designed to help pharmacies fill prescriptions that consist of oral solids or medications in pill form. The pharmacist or pharmacy technician enters the prescription information into its information system. The system, upon determining whether or not the drug is in the robot, will send the information to the robot for filling. The robot has three different size files to fill determined by the size of the pill. The robot technician, user, or pharmacist determines the needed size of the vial based on the tablet when the robot is stocked. Once the vial is filled it is brought up to a conveyor belt that delivers it to a holder that spins the vial and attaches the patient label. Afterwards it is set on another conveyor that delivers the patient to Euro unregistered trademark S medication vial to a slot labeled with the patient's name on an LED readout. The pharmacist or technician then checks the contents of the vial to ensure ETA Euro unregistered trademark as the correct drug for the correct patient and then seals the vials and sends it out front to be picked up. The robot is a very time efficient device that the pharmacy depends on to fill prescriptions. Maxorna Euro unregistered trademark S Robot RX is another healthcare robotics product that helps pharmacies dispense thousands of medications daily with little or no errors. The robot can be 10 feet wide and 30 feet long and can hold hundreds of different kinds of medications and thousands of doses. The pharmacy saves many resources like staff members that are otherwise unavailable in a resource-scarce industry. It uses an electromechanical head coupled with a pneumatic system to capture each dose and deliver it to its either stocked or dispensed location. The head moves along a single axis while it rotates 180 degrees to pull the medications. During this process it uses barcode technology to verify it's pulling the correct drug. It then delivers the drug to a patient-specific bin on a conveyor belt. Once the bin is filled with all of the drugs that a particular patient needs and that the robot stocks, the bin is then released and returned out on the conveyor belt to a technician waiting to load it into a cart for delivery to the floor. Research Robots While most robots today are installed in factories or homes, Performing labor or life saving jobs, many new types of robot are being developed in laboratories around the world. Much of the research in robotics focuses not on specific industrial tasks, but on investigations into new types of robot, alternative ways to think about or design robots, and new ways to manufacture them. It is expected that these new types of robot will be able to solve real world problems when they are finally realized. Nanorobots 
Nanorobotics is the emerging technology field of creating machines or robots whose components are at or close to the microscopic scale of a nanometer. Also known as nanobots, or nanits, they would be constructed from molecular machines. So far, researchers have mostly produced only parts of these complex systems, such as bearings, sensors, and synthetic molecular motors. But functioning robots have also been made, such as the entrance to the Nanobot RoboCup contest. Researchers also hope to be able to create entire robots as small as viruses or bacteria, which could perform tasks on a tiny scale. Possible applications include microsurgery, utility fog, manufacturing, weaponry, and cleaning. Some people have suggested that if there were Nanobots which could reproduce, the Earth would turn into grey goo while others argue that this hypothetical outcome is nonsense. Reconfigurable robots A few researchers have investigated the possibility of creating robots which can alter their physical form to suit a particular task, like the fictional T-1000. Real robots are nowhere near that sophisticated however, and mostly consist of a small number of cube-shaped units, which can move relative to their neighbors. Algorithms have been designed in case any such robots become a reality. Soft robots, robots with silicon bodies and flexible actuators, controlled using fuzzy logic and neural networks, look and feel different from robots with rigid skeletons, and can have different behaviors. Swarm robots. Inspired by colonies of insects such as ants and bees, Researchers are modeling the behavior of swarms of thousands of tiny robots which together perform a useful task, such as finding something hidden, cleaning, or spying. Each robot is quite simple, but the emergent behavior of the swarm is more complex. The whole set of robots can be considered as one single distributed system, in the same way an ant colony can be considered a superorganism, exhibiting swarm intelligence. The largest swarm so far created include the iRobot Swarm, the SRI Mobile Robot Centerbots Project and the open-source micro-robotic project Swarm, which are being used to research collective behaviors. Swarms are also more resistant to failure. Whereas one large robot may fail and ruin a mission, a swarm can continue even if several robots fail. This could make them attractive for space exploration missions, where failure is normally extremely costly. Haptic Interface Robots Robotics also has application in the design of virtual reality interfaces. Specialized robots are in widespread use in the haptic research community. These robots, called haptic interfaces, allow touch-enabled user interaction with real and virtual environments. Robotic forces allow simulating the mechanical properties of virtual objects, which users can experience through their sense of touch. Entertainment, polydancing robots. Some robots are used for entertainment and as a demonstration of the newest technology. This nimble automaton is a perfect example of this process. Being the main attractions at SABIT, the world a Euro unregistered trademark s biggest IT trade fair in Hanover, Germany. Future development. Technological trends. Various techniques have emerged to develop the science of robotics and robots. One method is evolutionary robotics, in which a number of differing robots are submitted to tests. Those which perform best are used as a model to create a subsequent generation of robots. Another method is developmental robotics, which tracks changes in development within a single robot in the areas of problem solving and other functions. Technological development, overall trends, Japan hopes to have full-scale commercialization of service robots by 2025. Much technological research in Japan is led by Japanese government agencies, particularly the Trade Ministry. As robots become more advanced, eventually there may be a standard computer operating system designed mainly for robots. Robot Operating System is an open-source set of programs being developed at Stanford University, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and the Technical University of Munich, Germany, among others. ROS provides ways to program a robot's navigation and limbs regardless of the specific hardware involved. It also provides high-level commands for items like image recognition and even opening doors. When ROS boots up on a robot's computer, 
it would obtain data on attributes such as the length and movement of robot's limbs. It would relay this data to higher level algorithms. Microsoft is also developing a Windows for Robots system with its Robotics Developer Studio, which has been available since 2007. New functions and abilities The Caterpillar company is making a dump truck which can drive itself without any human operator. Many future applications of robotics seem obvious to people, even though they are well beyond the capabilities of robots available at the time of the prediction. As early as 1982 people were confident that someday robots would, 1. Clean parts by removing molding flash 2. Spray paint automobiles with absolutely no human presence 3. Pack things in book Caesar Euro for example, Orient and Nest chocolate candies in candy boxes 4. Make electrical cable harness 5. Load trucks with book Caesar Euro a packing problem 6. Handle soft goods, such as garments and shoes 7. Sheer sheep 8. Prosthesis 9 Cook fast food and work in other service industries 10 Household robot Generally such predictions are overly optimistic in time scale. Reading robot A literate or reading robot named Marge has intelligence that comes from software. She can read newspapers, find and correct misspelled words, learn about banks like Barclays, and understand that some restaurants are better places to eat than others. Robots and popular culture, literature Robotic characters, androids or gynoids, and cyborgs have become a staple of science fiction. The first reference in Western literature to mechanical servants appears in Homer's Iliad. In Book 18, Hephaestus, god of fire, creates new armor for the hero Achilles, assisted by robots. According to the Rimi translation, golden maid servants hastened to help their master. They looked like real women and could not only speak and use their limbs but were endowed with intelligence and trained in handwork by the immortal gods. Of course, the words robot or android are not used to describe them, but they are nevertheless mechanical devices human in appearance. The first use of the word robot was in Carol Oyapek's play Aur. Writer Carol Oyapek was born in Czechoslovakia. Possibly the most prolific author of the 20th century was Isaac Asimov who published over 500 books. Asimov is probably best remembered for his science fiction stories and especially those about robots, where he placed robots and their interaction with society at the center of many of his works. Asimov carefully considered the problem of the ideal set of instructions robots might be given in order to lower the risk to humans, and arrived at his three laws of robotics. A robot may not injure a human being or, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. A robot must obey orders given to it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. And a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. These were introduced in his 1942 short story Runaround, although foreshadowed in a few earlier stories. Later, Asimov added the zeroth law, a robot may not harm humanity, or, by an action, allow humanity to come to harm. The rest of the laws are modified sequentially to acknowledge this. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the first passage in Asimov's short story Liar, that mentions the first law is the earliest recorded use of the word robotics. Asimov was not initially aware of this. He assumed the word already existed by analogy with mechanics, hydraulics, and other similar terms denoting branches of applied knowledge. Problems depicted in popular culture, fears and concerns about robots have been repeatedly expressed in a wide range of books and films. A common theme is the development of a master race of conscious and highly intelligent robots, motivated to take over or destroy the human race. Some fictional robots are programmed to kill and destroy. Others gain superhuman intelligence and abilities by upgrading their own software and hardware. Examples of popular media where the robot becomes evil are 2001, A Space Odyssey, Red Planet and In Theron. Another common theme is the reaction, sometimes called the uncanny valley, of unease and even revulsion at the sight of robots that mimic humans too closely. Frankenstein, often called the first science fiction novel, has become synonymous with the theme of a robot or monster advancing beyond its creator. In the TV show, Futurama, 
The robots are portrayed as humanoid figures that live alongside humans, not as robotic butlers. They still work in industry, but these robots carry out daily lives. Other problems may include events pertaining to robot surrogates where tissue of living organisms is interchanged with robotic systems. These problems can leave many possibilities where electronic viruses or an electromagnetic pulse can destroy not only the robot but kill the host operator as well. See also Artificial Intelligence, Index of Robotics Articles, Justin, Lely Juno Family, REEM, Liquid Handling Robot, Outline of Robotics, Robot App Store, Robot Locomotion, Tactile Sensor, References. Further reading, Glazer, Horst Albert and Rosbach, Sabine, The Artificial Human, Frankfurt M., Bern, New York, 2011 The Artificial Human, TechCast Article Series, Jason Rupinski and Richard Mix, Public Attitudes to Androids, Robot Gender, Tasks, and Pricing, Cheney, Margaret, 1989-123. Tesla, Man Out of Time. Dorset Press. New York. ISBN 0-88029-419-1, Craig, J.J. Introduction to Robotics. Pearson Prentice Hall. Upper Saddle River, N.J. Goodkind, L. Almost Human, Making Robots Think. New York, W. W. Norton and Company, Incorporated. Needham, Joseph. Science and Civilization in China, Volume 2. Taipei, Caves Books Limited. Sotheby's New York. The Tin Toy Robot Collection of Matt Wise, Tsai, L.W. Robot Analysis. Wiley. New York. DeLander, Manuel. War in the Age of Intelligent Machines. 1991. Swerve. New York. Journal of Field Robotics, External Links, Robotics at DMOZ, Robotics Portal. Research, International Foundation of Robotics Research, International Journal of Robotics Research, Robotics and Automation Society at IEEE, Robotics Division at NASA, Human Machine Integration Laboratory at Arizona State University, Education, Robotics Certification from George Brown College, Field and Space Robotics at MIT, Robotics Training at CMU.